this code sample use a database. Its name is HeimDB. The username is HeimDB and the password is MichaelDB. Let's take a look at the database. Well, if we check phpMyAdmin, we can find the HeimDB database and we can see that it has one table. Let's drop that table. Okay, so now we don't have any table. Now, as you can see, I require the rb.php file. This is the Redbean PHP ORM framework we want to use. In order to use this framework, we first need to download the framework itself and then just find within the files this uh, rb.php file and require it in our code. The first step would be setting up the database. I have already created the database so I can just call the static method setup that was defined in the R class class we can find defined here in this uh, file. Second step might be useful to set the debug mode. Passing over the value true will generate lots of uh, log messages to the uh, web browser. Log messages we can use for understanding what exactly went uh, wrong, what is the problem, etc. Now, in order to uh, create a bean, we just need to call the dispense static method R defined within R and pass over the name of the bean. We shall get an object. You can imagine that was instantiated from a class. This is its name. Out automatically in the background we shall get a table. Its name is student. Now according to the properties I refer, the columns in that table will be created. Here I do the same. Call the dispense method for getting another bean, another object. Each uh, bean we can consider as an object from a class with uh, an identifier. And here we get the third uh, bean. Now if I try to execute this code sample, as you can see, the output for this code includes the two IDs of the two beans that were stored back to the table over here. Right after that I call the load method in order to get a specific bean from the table student. I just pass over the ID of that bean. The ID is returned by the function store. So here we get uh, retrieving specific bean. The bean, its ID was stored within ID A, the first bean, the one that represents a, a student. Its name is Danidin. That's why we get this data. Now, over here, I try to update a specific bean. I try to update the bean a dollar $OB holds. I set another average. Calling the store function will update the table. So therefore, when calling the load function, passing over the name of the bean and the ID for the, for the specific bean I want to get, I expect to get a new, a new object, a reference for a new object, that its uh, average is 90. That's why over here we get uh, a new object with the average 90. 
After that, I want to delete all uh, students from the table, so I call wipe. So it's passing over the name of the bin. The name of the bin, which is actually the name of the table, will actually delete all all uh, all rows all data from the table now if we try to change the code and comment these lines and try to executing Now you can see the two beans in our table.